3D printing is a technology that is really challenging uh, the basics of physics and uh, we are totally back into basic research and this is a lot of fun for me because I think I'm not just a businessman, I'm also in my background a physicist and scientist and I understand uh, what's going on here and this uh, combination is rather rare. I uh, came to glider flying because my father was a flight instructor uh, for it was his hobby, not, not, not his profession. So I was more or less grown up on the glider airport. I uh, had my first flight with two years and when I started to fly by myself with 14 years, this was the earliest uh, possibility, I had more than a hundred flights already. It was uh, especially this uh, why that was driving me already at this point in time because a glider flies without engine and it can fly very high, very far uh, and the question is why? So the very basic analysis on why things work, why should it be this way and uh, especially to understand the relationship with new developments in other areas that could be helpful uh, for what we are doing. I see a very bright future for our technology. 3D printing will be one of the manufacturing technologies that is fully digital. And because it's fully digital, then it is fully scalable. I think these digital processes will generally change the way we, we work, the way we live, uh, the way um, what, uh, how consumers interact uh, with uh, suppliers. We had a lot of difficult moments. <laughs> Challenge is a good thing and uh, problems is a chance to improve. I think this is the, uh, the major lesson we have learned out of this. So let's look for other problems we can solve and this will bring us uh, a major step forward. Stay open, stay uh, committed and uh, have a clear vision where you want to go and then normally you will find solutions to this. Thank you.